Hey y'all, Irick Sky here, and I felt that it would only be appropriate to do a first impressions video of Mac OS X Mavericks as soon as I installed it. I've literally had it installed for a few minutes, and I'm filming this for my current edition, uh, or current model MacBook Air, 13-inch. Uh, and I couldn't be happier, and I'm going to start with the installation process. <coughs> Excuse me. And the installation process, as with most recent uh, versions of OS X, was very simple. And the cool thing, if you're not aware, OS X Mavericks is 100% free. That's right, it costs nothing. And it went to App Store and updated. Uh, I was on uh, Mac OS X Mountain Lion previously. The update process could not have been easier. Now, once I was greeted by the new operating system, there are some subtle changes. <clears throat> now, I'm on a dual monitor configuration right now. I'm on the MacBook Air. <clears throat> and then I've got one external... Uh, you can check out my video review of the AOC uh, IPS display. And I'm looking at it right now to my left side, my IPS display. And what you'll notice with, with OS X Mavericks is that you have a toolbar at the top of your extra, uh, uh, of the top of your, uh, excuse me, I just ate Taco Bell um, while I was waiting for OS X Mavericks to install. But at the top of the additional display, you'll notice your toolbar, you know, the little Apple logo and all that. And then also on your primary display, which I'm, which I'm looking at here, built into the MacBook Air, <clears throat> you'll notice the toolbar on the top. And I felt that that's nice because a lot of times when you're using a multi-monitor setup, and I don't use mirroring, uh, this is present on the, uh, on the extended desktop version. because, And that's really neat because in the past with extended desktop version, you would still have to go over to your other monitor to use the uh, to go to the toolbar, so that's a nice touch. I know that sounds silly to say that it's it's a huge improvement, but it is a it is a mild improvement. The other things I wanted to comment about uh, that initially struck me was the addition on the on the bar at the bottom. There's the Maps application, and I'm really looking forward to digging into that because what impresses me the most, at least from the uh, presentation that Apple gave earlier was the fact that maps, you can plot your course on your Mac desktop, your Mac, Mac laptop, and then you can send it over to your iPhone or your other iPad, whatever iOS device, and actually use it as a, uh, as a you know, GPS unit that you've already plotted your preferred course on your desktop computer. So that's kind of neat. Uh, the next thing is the addition of iBooks. Uh, you can now read your iBooks on your Mac. Uh, whereas in the past you had to read them on your uh, on your iPad, the um, the other things that struck me was when I installed. There's a new password, and I forget the exact terminology that they use, <clears throat> but there's a new password vault feature, and that's really cool. I th I really I, I look forward to using that because now when I save passwords on my desktop or when I save a password on my iPhone or my iPad or or any other Apple device that I own, they're all going to be uh, synced up, and that's really nice. And and then also, and I, and I know you can also, I think, store credit card information and whatnot. And I, I haven't dealt with the app yet, but I noticed that's something that was installed as part of OS X Mavericks, and that ought to be really cool. The other things under the hood, not just on the surface, I mean, you're going to notice it's, it's a somewhat minor cosmetic makeover, whereas... Uh, what, obviously, the iOS 7 mobile operating system, it was quite a drastic visual makeover. But the uh, the transition from the desktop OS from, uh, from Mountain Lion to OS X Mavericks is, is a lot more, uh, I guess we should say, discreet. You'll notice that your Safari browser looks a little bit different. And when you go into that, the uh, interface is a little bit different. Now, under the hood... There's some really cool stuff, especially if you're using a uh, if you're using a MacBook Air like I am, or a MacBook Pro laptop, and that's the enhanced. Uh, they've built into the OS X Mavericks some code that it helps to enable improved battery life, and that's good if you're a mobile user traveling a lot, and and you you may not. Uh, in the past, you may have said, "Well, you know, I fire up my laptop and check that, but then I'm going to run down." X amount of the battery. So that's that's an improvement to, to get that increase in battery life. 
And then also memory utilization. And I forget the exact numbers that they use, but something along the lines of uh, it, it basically behaves like 6 gigs of RAM on 4 gigs of RAM. So that's kind of cool. So it sounds like they've really retooled the code and and it, it ought to be really uh, it ought to be really good. I mean, I, I can't obviously this is a first impressions video, so I can't delve into each individual function uh, within Mavericks, but I can say I haven't noticed any problems. And like I said, the the uh, visual overhaul is not that is not drastic at all, but you will notice subtle things if you use multi multi monitor. Uh, configuration like I do where you see the toolbar at the top and then and then also I thought was a nice touch and I haven't done it yet because this is first impressions video like I said very very high level initial impressions but it did pop up it said what's new in OS 10 Mavericks take a tour now or view it later from the finder help menu so it's got an integrated uh, I guess it'll be some sort of uh, tutorial welcome type tutorial for OS 10 Mavericks so I think that's cool um, it really seems like Apple's on a new on a new path now, not just with their desktop operating system, but also with their mobile. And I like the way that they're really merging the uh, and and iCloud was one of the first examples of that, where they're merging the the sharing of data among desktop, iPhone, iPad, all of those devices. So if you update a a Pages document, a document created in Pages on your desktop. You can access that from your iPad, your iPod, your iPhone, etc. So it's just really convenient. And I mean, I know that's not new, but what is new, and that's something else I wanted to point out about OS X Mavericks, is that they've included, you're getting an updated GarageBand and iLife, and you're also getting, uh, and, and actually, wait, that's with the, I don't know if Pages is free. You know, it's just something I have to check. I don't know if Pages application is free on the desktop Mac or if it's only going to be free on the uh, on the iPad. But they had, they had indicated that Pages and Numbers, uh, applications that used to cost money in the past, at least for the, I think, the iPad, I think that was going to be free. But that's a separate discussion. We're talking about OS X Mavericks uh, desktop operating system here. So... I mean, just looking through it, I mean, like I said, you got new GarageBand, new uh, new iLife. Obviously, iLife has i iPhoto and iMovie. So there's a lot of stuff. There's a there's a lot of stuff to to explore here. And again, I thought that was so cool that Apple released this, and it costs nothing. So it makes me wonder what they're gearing up to, uh, what they're gearing up to put out that's going to cost a lot of money and. If I had to speculate, I would say it'd probably be the Apple television. Not Apple TV, but an actual television. Television set made by Apple. But we'll see. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe. And check out all my other videos. I'm going to critique a lot of these new, uh, these new Mac products. And uh, share this video and any of my videos with others. And be sure to subscribe. YouTube.com forward slash IRIXGUY. And like I always say in my videos, I film this on the uh, current model MacBook Air. I'm just in photo booth, so you can get an idea of how uh, how decent photo booth looks. I mean, it's you know a pretty good camera, not too much uh, motion distortion, etc. And I just use the built-in uh, uh, black and white. Uh, excuse me, the built-in black and white filter within photo booth to uh to create this video but thanks for watching y'all have a good day